the boat. Many months later. Pulling out of the driveway. Today is a very special day. I think one thing I'm gonna start doing is, I know some people don't like intros or anything, so what I might do is just put a minute marker down somewhere on the screen. You can, uh, okay, hopefully they don't slide off again. I went around a curve. So like I was saying, I think I might put a minute marker down somewhere from now on that way if you don't feel like listening to a little intro or anything you can just go ahead and skip straight to whatever the title's about which in this case is a hood install now i did have a carbon fiber hood on my subaru brz i got the hood scoop version of the carbon fiber hood because i didn't see anybody have one before so i was like well maybe i'll get in and see what it, see what it looks like i thought it would look cool but once i got it now don't get me wrong it did look cool but for one thing, I don't have a turbo, nor do I have a top mounted intercool. So the hood scoop was just pointless. The way the hood scoop is, it bulges up, so it made the front end look a little like chunky, I guess. And another thing, why is this dude wearing sunglasses? It's not even sunny outside, it's about to start raining actually. I've been wearing them so much lately that it just, it doesn't feel right if I don't have them. So yeah, that's why I'm wearing sunglasses. Oh my God! I'll just see you at the gold ship. 20 minutes later. All right, I didn't show much of, uh, we were just packing it up into the back of the truck. But yeah, I'll see you at the house. I'm gonna get something to eat first. Eventually. Just for video evidence, I'm gonna open it up on camera, so if it's cracked at all, it wasn't me. Look at that. I'm gonna miss the hood scoop, but that looks pretty nice. Looks more sleek and less bulky as the hood scoop. Instructions, don't need them. All right, so I switched my big camera, so if it's, if the audio is different and the video looks a little different, it's because I switched to my my big camera. So, first step. Wait, not yet, hold on. So first thing you're gonna need is, well the only thing you're gonna need is a 14 and a 12. You can use either one of these, it doesn't really matter. I just prefer to use these, so. Actually, I think this might be too big. I don't know, we'll find out. But I prefer using these over these. First step is obvious, pop the hood. Okay, now it's very simple what you're about to do. All you're gonna do, there's two bolts here. You're gonna unscrew those. And two bolts here. Unscrew those. All your bolts, make sure you don't lose these. Put them somewhere that you are gonna use them. On the BRZ, you can use the stock uh, bolts. These aren't stock. It's where I got hit, these are new ones. But the stock ones that come with the BRZ, you can use those on your new hood. I don't know about any other car, but on the BRZ, 
you can use the same ones but these are not the same ones obviously all right so i said that i would be doing this on my own but my little sister's here so i'm gonna use her to do this you can't do it on your own but it's a lot easier with a helping hand so Now I'm going to flip that over and take those little wood blocks off the corner. All right, and if anybody's wondering, you do not have you do not use these bolts that come on these wood blocks. This is just there to protect the screws, I think. I said I think. Yeah, so these bolts that come off these wood blocks, you don't need them. Just toss them. Uh, somewhere in your package it should come with hardware. You can use these. Alright, so once you finish screwing in both sides and it's all tightened down, you're not done yet. You have to take off your little support thing, put the hood down, and check the alignment. That's just what I'm going to do right now. From where it got wrecked, there's a liner that's supposed to go here and here. Like, see where it's messed up? The, I had to take this back and they're gonna put it back in. They just left it out until I got this. But I wanted to put the hood on myself, so that's why. But see, this side's more tight than that side is. To fix this, all you have to do is loosen that side up a little bit and tighten this side down. Look at that. That's what the new hood looks like. I kind of miss the hood scoop, but that looks more, more like, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, so the one I went with, I don't remember what the name of this hood is, but if anybody wants this, I will link it down in the description. Just look at how good that carbon fiber looks. One thing to know is always check your fluids from time to time. Um, I just checked my coolant and it's right before you get to the low line. So I'm gonna fill it up. I am using a uh, pre-diluted something. I don't know. The coolant that I'm using is blue. Uh, well, here's what I got. Yeah. So this is the coolant I'm using. Like I said, it's Subarus. I think all Subarus are blue. So I'm gonna fill that up right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm, not, I'm pretty sure the, the coolant is in different areas of an engine bay. My coolant is right here. That's the low line. So I don't need to add some, but it's just, uh, I'm going to do it just to be safe. To fill your coolant up, all you have to do is find the lid that says coolant. And just pop the lid off. Then you take your coolant, open it up, and just pour it in there. It's that simple. Now your car won't last long without coolant, so be sure to check your coolant. And your oil, but just check your fluids every now and then. This is 50-50, meaning it's pre-diluted. If you get oil or antifreeze or coolant, check and see if it's pre-diluted or not. You may have to add water. This one, I don't. I just gotta pour it straight in there. I'm gonna go get a funnel, or I'm gonna go make a funnel real quick. Just splash the corn all over me. Alright, so I didn't fill it all the way to the full line because the car is off right now and it's cold. When the coolant heats up, it kind of expands. So it will go to that full line. You don't have to fill it up all the way. One thing I forgot to mention is 
Always keep your stock parts. If I had not kept my stock hood, I would still be waiting on my car and it got hit back in October. Keep your stock parts. I know it's tempting to sell them, but don't. Because in situations like this, you need them. Like let's say you get a whole new exhaust system. You get a whole new exhaust system and you go catless. And then you have to have it inspected and pass smog tests and emissions and all that. If you don't have your stock exhaust, well, you're gonna fail your inspection and emissions and everything like that. If you keep your stock parts, like your exhaust, you can throw those back on, get it you know, taken care of, and then throw your aftermarket parts back on. Or in my case, your car gets hit, you still have stock parts that you can throw on until it's done or until your parts get here. So always keep your stock parts. I know you wanna sell them. I know it's tempting, but don't keep your stock parts at least i recommend that you know from my experience so yeah keep your stock parts all right hopefully that's focused enough um and i still can't see the car in the camera why do i gotta be like this one question i did get a lot the last time i put a hood on was do you need hood pins it's recommended you use hood pins but you don't need them if you're just dailying your car to work or something you're probably not going to need them but if you're you know autocross or taking the car to a track or anything yeah i would recommend getting hood pins i eventually will but i don't really need them right now i did have one before and i had it for a few months and it never flew up or anything so it should be okay so if you're daily in the car it's not really a high priority to have hood pins but it's good to have it but if you're tracking the car or you know going to autocross or anything like that, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting hood pin. So yeah, that's one of the simplest installs you could do on your car is replacing the hood. I'm, I'm actually excited. It didn't feel right having the stock hood on there, but now that I have the carbon fiber hood on it, it's not the same one, but you know, it feels better. It's out of focus. All right, sorry if it's out of focus. Um, it keeps auto focusing on my face. But yeah, that's all for this video. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say other than I'll see you in the next one. So, 